troubleshooting a Myers pump. Myers manufactures a broad line of residential submersible water pumps for wastewater, water systems and sewage. These sturdy machines can endure many hours of operation without maintenance. Many of the problems that occur have to do with clogs and dirt buildup. The areas on which to focus your cleaning are the impeller, volutum and float. Run through a quick checklist of potential troubleshooting problems before taking your Myers pump in for servicing. Things you'll need Replacement fuses Kerosene Inspect the household electrical box for any breakers that may have tripped if the pump does not work at all. Reset the breakers if necessary. Check for blown fuses, and replace them as needed. Add more water to the sump if the pump pumps but does not run. Check to ensure the float operates freely in the basin. Verify that the valve is installed correctly if the pump runs but does not deliver water. The arrow on the valve should point in the direction of the water flow. The pump could be airlocked. Stop and start the unit several times by unplugging and plugging in the cord, which should unlock it. Check whether the impeller or volute openings have become clogged if the pump runs but does not draw in water. Remove the pump, and clean it if necessary. The impeller is the rotor inside the pump that increases the flow of liquid. The volute is the curved, funnel-like casing through which the impeller pumps fluid. Remove the pump and clean out the inlet holes at its base if the fuse blows or the circuit breaker trips when you start the pump. This can cause the unit to draw a heavier electrical load. Clean the float if the pump becomes inoperative due to the accumulation of trash. Wipe all the dirt from the pump and float. Use kerosene to clean the pump if tar or paint has entered the basin. Check to ensure that the float moves freely after cleaning. Clean the impeller and volute casing. Remove the three screws that hold the plastic base and volute. Remove the four screws that connect the volute to the motor housing. Lift out the volute, and clean the volute passage and impeller. Use kerosene for persistent clogs or when tar or paint has flowed through the pump. Check to ensure the impeller spins freely after cleaning. Clean out the holes in the plastic volute, and wash it thoroughly before replacing it.